Hi, I'm Jordan, a pro editor for artists like these guys. Let's dive into the post-production and the meaning behind drama. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and have fun. You see how the text was like flashing and wiggling all over the place? That's because they're trying to make this look like film or it actually was shot on film. I don't know which one, but it's pretty sick. Welcome to drama. Please follow the four rules while watching the drama. <laughs> Look back immediately when you feel a presence in the dark. If your reflection in the mirror tries to shake your hand, do not let it. Light can blind your eyes, run away at full speed. All of the above is false. The only way to escape is by doing the opposite. So you're telling me, if my reflection in the mirror tries to shake my hand, I need to let it? Oh, hi, Jordan. <laughs> Ooh, I love the, the quiet before the storm, the silence. I'm the drama. In this first dance sequence, are these speed ramps or are they actually just really freaking good at dancing? I don't know, I think they might be speed ramps, bro. You can already feel like an ebb and a flow to the edit. A nice little white frame right there, literally one frame. They're adding one frame of white. It's lots of times when you cut, when you're actually shooting on film, there's little flashes that pop up. And so these flashes kind of emulate those cuts that you see normally in film. It's a nice touch. It really emphasizes that kick right there and the snare. And then this happens a couple times. In order to make the smoothest cuts ever, we have to blend shots together. And one way you can do that is by matching action between edits. We have a couple times where one of the members turns their head and we cut on that turn, on that action, to a new location with a similar head turn. And then right here, when we're backing up from the mirror, she turns again in the exact same fashion. Even on the zoom out there, you have this velocity where it starts really fast and then slows down. So it's like a foom, you know? It's just so delicious. <laughs> Bruh, and then on the freaking lyric room, this is the first time we see a car. So we establish that there's people circling her with flashlights and then we cut to a close up and then right on another spin. So we're already establishing this language of spinning. We cut to a car that's also spinning or driving by, emulating the flashlights that were already around her. This is like a freaking fever dream of images just coming together in the smoothest fashion possible. Dude, oh my goodness. So many of the cuts there were on the beat, which was really nice. It really kept it crispy. Right here. Boom. Boom. Did someone just intentionally run them over and then just arson them? That's kind of dramatic. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about though. This is the smoothest edit ever, bro. Instead of matching the motion of the subject, like turning, they instead match the velocity of the camera movement. So the camera pushes in, pulls out, and then we cut to a motorcycle shot at the same pull out velocity. Brother. <laughs> This music video is crazy. <laughs> I don't know how she backflipped inside the building, but that was impressive, first of all. But here we go, check this out. So we go black and white for this scene. This is the thing I love. We have a wide shot and a close up, and we didn't have a shot in between, so the editor had to get creative, and they actually punched in on the wide shot right here and zoomed in, and that's why we have all kinds of motion blur. And then that helps us get to this close up right here, which is in camera, making that delicious slice. But this shot right in the middle, right there. Helps so much. Okay. 
The reason this edit is so good, number one, it's a match cut, but as her hand travels across the screen, we cut to another clip that has a bunch of lines in the background and the lines in the background look like actual claw marks. So we're hearing a slice. We see something that's not claw marks, but our brain all of a sudden thinks of claw marks because of what we've seen and heard in the previous shot. That right there is editing at its finest. Okay. So if you want to create more impact, we have a little flash and then a, a motion blur camera shake. That's nice. Dude, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Again, we have those camera shakes again right here. Boom. Girls in the back. You know how it goes, sorry, I didn't need to say that. Now at this post chorus, we have some longer shots, which are nice. And we really hang on this close up, which I really love. And then the choreo does a two quick movements and then a long movement. Kind of like what Luis said when he edited TXT. If you missed that video, you should check it out. We interviewed the actual editor of a TXT music video. He said that he kind of compartmentalizes different dance moves and different lyric phrases. So there was a dance move that was fum fum boom on that fum fum. <laughs> that sounds so weird. That's its own shot. And then on the downbeat, that's a nice longer shot. So check this out. Long shot, long shot, quick, long. Ooh. See, like that just feels so good. Dude, the sword right on the beat, so good. Ah, this glitch on the TV screen matches the sound so well. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, that's nasty. Bro, I'm just having a moment right now. Why am I sitting in my room watching the music video and just having this much fun doing it with you all? I'm so thankful. This has been a great year and looking forward to 2024. I don't know what, what's in store, but I know there's gonna be a lot of learning and growing and I'm so thankful to continue to partner with Skillshare, which helps me do that. If you don't know about Skillshare, it's an online learning community with thousands of classes and members. Whether you wanna learn how to shoot and edit music videos just like this, or maybe use AI tools to improve your productivity, or maybe even just open your first Etsy shop my mom has one. She's great. She makes mittens. <laughs> Whatever it is, even if it's mittens, Skillshare has what you need to go from passion to paycheck. And these days, I'm doing a lot. We're doing the editing podcast, this channel. I've just started a new channel called Jordan Calais, just vlogs documenting my life. And I need a lot of help staying organized. So on Skillshare, I recently took Notion for YouTube creators, easily manage your creative projects. Notion is way more complicated than I ever thought, but once you get that baby cooking, it keeps you on task. One of my favorite things about Skillshare is this is, this is what they say. They wanna make the creative life possible for everyone around the world. And the only thing between you and doing that is learning a skill. And the investment you have to put into Skillshare is literally nothing compared to the value of creative freedom in your work. So if that's you, I implore you, click the link in the description because the first 500 people that do so will get a free month of Skillshare. <laughs> Bro. I love a black void moment because it allows you to be so creative with the editing. They're doing kind of like some cross fade language where there's just fade in and fade outs and you don't really know where the next people are gonna come from. I was shook. I thought this was like a lighting cue. I thought these girls were actually behind her, but then it turns out that she faded out plot twist. She wasn't actually there. She was just rotoscoped out. And then we just zoom into a black section and slowly fade in the next shot. Do it again. That is such a genius idea. So they're talking about how people copy them all the time. And the lyric says, 
Just like deja vu, they picture my image. They have like that mirror effect where you know if you have mirrors on both sides of you, you can just see an infinite amount of yourself. So they do that and the reason it gets sold so well is as the line continues, it kind of fades out into the darkness. So it just looks like it lasts forever. And then literally they say, they picture my image like a mirror and then the camera pans over to an actual mirror of that line just descending into darkness. This is so sick. Woo. Oh, bro. I am sure this is what happened. The editor knew that this was the next clip and they were like, okay, so how can I actually blend these two shots together? So he gets this shot. It looks like they start putting a red light and then this is a different look. This is where you actually remove the blue and green channels. So all you have is red in the image. And so it looks like the editor took it upon himself to take the director's vision and expand upon it so that we have a completely red close up before we go to the next red scene. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh. We get some film and some flashing. We literally just punched in and then cut in a blank shot where nobody was there, just maybe where they were rolling before they even said action. Oh, nah, bro. Drama. <laughs> okay, so there were some parts of that that I loved and some parts that I didn't like so much. This falling shot where the camera spins, ridiculous, so good. And then they make it even better by matching the camera movement where the choreo just goes like, mm. and so the spin of the falling matches the spin of the choreo camera move. Spin, match, spin. Oh my gosh, so good. And then I'm gonna be honest, this image didn't do it for me. You can see that the color doesn't match. Her blacks are, are lifted a little bit. It just looks like she's cut out. It looks cheap, like bad VFX. It was a good idea, but I just wish they didn't do it. I wish they're like, yeah, it just doesn't look good enough. But that's okay. That's just my one little critique. I'm not a huge fan of that. It's a cool idea though. It's a really cool idea. Ooh. Looks like they had, so you can take a steady cam and actually spin it like this and do like 360 rotating shots. And so it looks like they did that on set and just sped it up. And that's how you get this little spinny guy into the headlights. Bro, this set, the half naked men dancing around, spinning circles around the circle, fantastic. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That is fire. <laughs> there just happened to be fire up. <laughs> it's not even that funny, Jordan. I don't know what's on. I don't know. <laughs> uh, why did you blow up that car? Ooh. Ooh. Those fast cuts right on that fill. The reason it works so well, because these are not like crazy clips. They're just normal clips that are cut quickly together. But once you add like a little more texture, adding these film burns on there, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier where there's these flashes when you cut a camera shot on film, it creates these film burns that you see. So that's why they're putting all kinds of white frames into this music video. Mm. It's nice, I like it. What the <laughs> I assume this is all the effects. That's a crazy shot. The moment after a bridge, right before the last chorus, that's the most climactic moment of a song. And so that's why they saved that final kill shot, not in black and white, like this is really happening. And then that crazy eye shot, that's when it just gets nuts. And these little quick cuts right on that kick, so nice. That's more, now like all, all hell is breaking loose, it's going crazy.
Drama. Oh, are we reversing the narrative where she actually was dropped before, but now she gets saved? I don't know. That's where my brain goes. That's pretty cool. Ooh. This cut just zooming in is nuts. Like they just changed the exposure a little bit to make it look more like film, add a white frame in there. This is not something you can get from a stock site. They literally sent the shot to VFX and said, hey, turn this image into glass shards and they did it. Ooh. The flashing there matches the sound so well. Ooh, the match cuts. So good. Bruh. I think drama means that they are asserting themselves, they want to make a lasting impact, and they are refusing to be overlooked or silenced. And at the beginning and throughout the entire song, it says that this drama starts with Espa. But then at the end, here's the lyric. They say it starts with you, my, as in the fandom name, drama. If you want to learn how to edit music videos like this, be sure to check out my course, The Editing Formula. God bless you guys. Peace out.